We start with breaking news out of Moscow, Idaho. Within the last hour, police specifically addressed questions about the surviving roommates and a man seen in a video with two of the four murdered U of I students. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Aaron Luna. Jordan Smith has been covering this investigation from the start. He's live in Moscow tonight at the home where the bodies were found. Jordan. Well, Aaron, lots of new information tonight released by Idaho State Police just an hour ago. It was previously reported that Ethan Chapin was a resident of this home here behind me, but tonight we're learning he was just visiting this home late that Saturday night. Now, other information that we're learning here tonight, detectives don't believe the other two surviving roommates or the male in this grub truck surveillance video are involved in this crime. Also new information, police have addressed the rumors of these victims being bound and gagged, saying that's not accurate. The coroner stated that each victim was likely killed in their sleep. Some had defense wounds, but each was stabbed multiple times, and there is no evidence of sexual assault. Detectives have also seized the contents of three dumpsters here on King Street in hopes of locating possible evidence. The knife used to murder these students still has yet to be found, and at this time, the detectives have received over 500 tips. And here's a look at the timeline released by law enforcement today. It shows the whereabouts for all four victims for at least part of the evening. We'll begin with Maddie and Kaylee. The two of them were seen at the Corner Club Saturday evening, a bar on the northern part of town. Town. They stayed there from roughly 10 p.m. until 1.30 a.m. before arriving at a food truck just a few blocks down. Law enforcement estimates they spent roughly 10 minutes there before finally departing to their residence on Queen Street. And Ethan and Zena, they started their evening at the Sigma Chi fraternity, attending a party from 8 to 9 p.m. Police are still asking about their timeline. Their whereabouts remain unknown from 9 p.m. until about 1.45 a.m. when they returned to this residence here on Queen Street. And as of tonight, over 130 members of law enforcement are actively working this case, including 46 from the FBI. But tonight, still no updates on any suspects the police are looking for, as everybody from campus has just about taken off for Thanksgiving break. We'll be tracking the very latest updates on this story as we get them. Guys, for now, reporting in Moscow, I'm Jordan Smith. I'll send it back to you.